Mary Meet Annie here. I wanted to do an update on my venture into Patreon, mostly to celebrate it. So here's what's happened. You know how much a community means to me here on YouTube, where I encourage comments as to be part of the discussion and the sharing and community building? I wanted Patreon to be the same thing. I wanted to do a lot of, and I'm doing basically daily posts on the public Patreon. Doesn't cost you a penny for that. As a way to engage in conversation and sharing and community building. And also to, well, create an aspect of Patreon that's not about patrons. It's about anybody who wanders my way. I do have two tiers there for the season of the seeker and the season of the dedicant. And that's kind of what I wanted to share as a celebration today. And I'm sharing it to celebrate who we are when we come together. Patreon is really for creators to put their stuff out there. And if they're big into charging lots of money, you can pay a lot of money to see the stuff. That hasn't been my goal all along. It was a certain minimum amount that I put out to the universe that I needed to fund my way forward in this new effort. In great part to afford an editor proofreader for Season of the Seeker and then Season of the Dedicate and then to take on the expenses of publishing them. All I asked the universe for was that. That's why I've kept the tiers on my Patreon so inexpensive. It's also why I've made sure there's lots of public posts that have no costs associated with them. But I want to tell you about something that's happened when it comes to the season of the Seeker and the season of the Dedicate, because it truly has warmed my heart. We realized early on that Patreon is meant for creators to put their things out there, to decide what, if anything is going to be public and what, meaning modestly or not modestly, they're going to charge for anything in their tiered presentations. We realized early on, the first couple of weeks in Patreon, that there's limits to it as a community builder. It's easy for me to post as a creator. It's not so easy for conversations and sharings to happen with those who wander that way. And we realized it early on. And it was beautiful to me to see that not only was I thinking, this isn't exactly what I intended, but so were people who were signing up for Season of the Seeker and Season of the Dedicate. We decided we needed a place to have community where anyone who's part of those programs could post pictures and documents and experiences and pose questions, not only to be in specific conversation about the chapters in Season of the Seeker and Season of the Dedicate, but to be with each other in community. Which required thinking, okay, what would that then be? And do I have the time and the focus and maybe even the energy to take on yet another platform. And a platform was suggested by several of the people who were in the program as a way we could get to know each other and test out the platform before September 1st's classes begin. Why I am so moved by this is everything I do is in service to community. And when people come together and they find a way forward to celebrate community and to explore ways to be with each other and learn from each other and of course to be then inspired and grow from each other, my heart's totally warmed by the fact that a true community is building up around the season of the seeker and season of the dedicate and that season, that, that community involves those who are in both of those classes. The classes may be individual, but the community is combined and joint, so we can all get to know each other and become friends. We're from all around the world. I think we've touched on every, almost every continent, definitely every time zone, <laughs> and northern and southern hemisphere, um, all throughout Europe, um, Australia, United States, Canada. My celebration is community building, any way we can find to do it, any way we can be with others who inspire us and challenge us, lead us to some better version of ourself, because I do believe that 
and we talk about you can't be a witch alone, some of the many different ways of looking at that are you know who you are, but you know even more about who you are when you know who you are in relation to others. So this video is a celebration. It's a thank you to those who are made the suggestion of how we might make what I began on Patreon, and it's staying there because of the tiers involved, but it is also now has an own platform separate from Patreon for patrons to have a complete and open community to share with each other. This takes me back to the glory days of YouTube, and actually YouTube has been getting better in that again, and it takes back to, to the first groups I ever met online back when we did listservs and things like that to meet others and then be in conversation with the group. This wandering video is I wanted to make it public that there are reasons why I chose to do a Patreon. There's reasons why modest as I charge for the two tiers that I needed to charge something in order to find a way forward in a certain aspect of my life. The alternative was to go out in search of a a job doing whatever, probably in retail, where I live, to help me make some goals that I have that are really in service to our greater community. So there was this level of what Patreon was intended for me, and I am so happy and so blessed and want to put it out there in the YouTube sphere. The way that patrons have come together in our new venture in a group environment outside of Patreon is beautiful. I hope ever growing. It is all inclusive. It is filled with love and respect. And this is also then one of the reasons why the universe moved me in this particular direction. It's just a celebration of who we are as witches and pagans and magicians and practitioners, whatever we name ourselves, even if we choose not to take on a label, there's something that happens when we come together in community. We cannot get there alone. I wanted to put this out in the YouTube sphere, not just on my Patreon as a post there because I want to celebrate here on YouTube that YouTube can be that. It is that in many ways. That Facebook groups, Instagram accounts, all the many ways we choose to be with each other in community when they come from a place of love and respect. I just don't think we're going to experience anything in life more powerful than community building. Establishing a flame which is the center of any one and all of our communities. That's what I wanted to share today, the beauty of who we are when we come together. And I'm sending love to the universe and declaring it publicly in this for the world to see environment in honor of the patrons on my Patreon page who have decided we will come together and out of this odd thing called Patreon, we will make a community and we will learn together and grow together and celebrate together. My heart's speaking to you in this video, my friends. All of you who are part of that, all of you who are part of my YouTube community, just a day for my heart smiling. I wish you all mirth and reverence. May part.